super crispy, golden bites, full of yumminess, and they are so addictive. These are my Asian style shrimp corn fritters. Mm. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect appetizer, my super crunchy sweet corn and shrimp fritters. Cook the Indonesian way and it's surprisingly easy to make. You will need sweet corn as the main ingredient. I recommend using fresh uncooked corn but you can use canned or frozen or mix both like I'm going to use on this recipe. You will also need chopped green onions, a small onion or you could use onion powder, fresh garlic or garlic powder, salt, black pepper, seasoning powder to give an extra umami flavor, coriander powder and raw peeled shrimp. So the secret to make your fritter so crispy is to mix plain flour and rice flour. But if you don't have rice flour, you can also use cornstarch and add baking powder. The rice flour makes the butter lighter whereas corn flour butter tends to have a firmer crunch but either way it's really good and you really cannot go wrong. Prepare the ingredients by chop onion, garlic, and the corn using a chopper or a blender to make it easier. Then combine them with the flour. I will put the complete ingredients in the description box below or you can print them from my website at arwinaandtheboys.com. So the basic butter only uses flour, salt and pepper. But if you want a little bit more fancy and more authentic to the traditional Indonesian recipe, then add some more spices. And using fresh corn is best because if you buy frozen corn or canned corn, those have already been cooked and it will lose some of that sweet, yummy corn flavor. Well, all ingredients and add the fresh corn by slicing off the kernels from the cob. Do this by using the knife or in this case I'm using this cool corn scraper from Amazon. Check the link below on the description if you want to get one or two for yourself. Then add the green onion and shrimp. And if you want even more fancier and tastier, I recommend adding some kaffir lime leaf. It will give more depth of flavor and more fragrance. Now, all we need to do is fry this baby up. All right, so I've got my frying oil here and I use some canola oil. You want to fry in a hot boil, so the temperature should be around 350 to 375 
Fahrenheit. Turn over after a few minutes and fry until they are golden brown. Now check this out. They are nice and golden brown and the butter is super crispy. Well, these are good on their own. But they are even better if you eat it with fresh chili or dip it in some sriracha or any mm. hot sauce. Mm. Yeah, try it after. after. Yum! The sweetness of the corn, the slight saltiness mm. of the butter really works well with a touch of spiciness of the chili. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. As always, when you make this, please drop a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And I will see you next time for your next deliciousness.